Rob, I guess um, it's senior night tomorrow. Under normal circumstances, it would be yours. You've got the COVID year. Sorry, my son's in the background. Forgive me. You've got the COVID year. Um, what's your thought process been in terms of, you know, should I go through senior night? Should I take the fifth year? How have you approached that? Because it is something that is really so new to, to uh, athletes. Yeah, I mean, I've just really been talking to my family about it. So, but I'm not, I'm not doing senior night tomorrow. So, I mean, I'm still leaving that, that last COVID year on the table. So, yeah, I'm not doing it tomorrow. Matt, just following up on that, I guess, kind of what is going into your decision making, kind of having that COVID year, what's going through your mind to try to, I guess, make your decisions in the next, in the days in the past and coming up? Oh, uh, yeah, really, honestly, I'm not really, I mean, focused on that right now. I mean, obviously, I know after the season, I'm going to have to talk with my family about it. And then, I mean, obviously, talk with uh, the team, too, about it. So we'll see what happens. But really, I'm just focused on uh, winning basketball games right now. Zach, you had another one? No, I was just joking around. I'm good. Plus, I'm getting screamed at, so ignore me. Okay, Alex. Rob, what was the uh, kind of the rehab like for you getting back from this injury? Uh, what was, I guess, most difficult about it? And I also wanted to ask just about Rutgers. Are they a team that, that caused you guys a lot of problems last season? What, what do you think uh, are the keys tomorrow's, to tomorrow's game to, to be able to win? Um, so for the first part, my, the rehab, I mean, a lot of it was uh, rest. So, I mean, it's a foot injury, so I couldn't really do a lot on it. So the big thing was rest and icing, doing a lot of different stretches and things to strengthen it. But yeah, yeah, Rutgers, um, I know we're going to about to have practice. So we already went over scouting everything. So I feel like we'll be ready for them. Like you said, they did uh, beat us three times last year. So obviously we'll, we want to get them back for that. But uh, yeah, we're just really looking looking forward to that and try to get the one for senior night tomorrow. Kevin. Yeah, Rob, can you speak to kind of the stakes of this game, though, and the fact that, you know, this is a group that's never been to the NCAA tournament and what it would mean for you guys to kind of finish strong and, and make it there? Oh, yeah, it's huge. I mean, just being back from injury, I know I've never been in the NCAA tournament, and honest, no one on the team has been there. So, uh, yeah, we've really just been locked in and um, just trying to carry this two-game winning streak and keep winning. Mike Schumann. Yeah, I'm just curious how, how your foot felt during the game, uh, how your stamina was, and kind of did, did it give you enough in that one brief run to, to give you optimism down the stretch here? Yeah, for sure. That was actually a really big confidence booster for me, just, just because I didn't really – I literally didn't do any practices, any live action or anything. So I was kind of just like thrown in the fire. And um, I feel like I did a pretty good job, and uh, I felt better than I expected out there. And um, – yeah, I'm just really working my way back, but I feel like I'll be I'll be at full strength pretty soon. Jeff. Hey, man, appreciate your time. Um, as far as the for you guys who have the COVID extra year, just big picture. What's that like to start college and know here's my general time frame and then all of a sudden COVID comes along and it's a completely different scenario we, we just college basketball hasn't had this before so how do you approach it what are the factors that you look at to say do I want to move on with life do I want another year here do I want to transfer you know because you guys got portal options just there's so much out there give me a player's view of what, it, what it's like to go through all this uh it's pretty crazy honestly I was just talking to one of my friends about this this just having like one normal college year is my freshman year and that then everything was affected by COVID. But uh, really, I mean, it's I wouldn't say it's hard, but I mean, it's just something that happens in life. You never know what's going to come. So you just have to react and um, talk to your friends and family about it. And just trust God that uh, you'll, you do the right thing at the end of the day because he has the right thing on your path. So just continue to believe and have faith in it and um, just try not to worry about it too much. And what are... Um... Just what are, what are your thoughts about now that you're back as far as uh, your role as it relates to closing games? Woodson even mentioned this again today. When you guys were winning and doing well, you, you, there were a lot of times you and Xavier were out there together, kind of like a closing unit. Um, are you to the point you feel like stamina is everything, everything is back to where you can do that again? And did you like that sort of like that closing unit role? Um, 
honestly, I could I honestly can't tell if my stamina is going to be back or not. Just just because I didn't, I haven't played in that long. But honestly, the nine minutes I wasn't tired at all when I was out there. So I feel like I mean, if the time comes, if that happens in the records game, I'll be ready for it. And uh, I'm really just going to have to see tomorrow in the game. But I feel like I'll be ready for it. And the last question I had for you was just uh, give me your thoughts, Rutgers, their guards physically. They get a lot of attention for being bigger, stronger guys who can who can, you know, drive and get downhill. What's it like going against them? And and is that label fair? Big, strong, physical guards. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, McKay and then Connell, those two, those two guys are bigger and stronger than um, the average size guards using the Big Ten. But but yeah, we know we know how they play. It's going to be a, a really tough game. I know it's going to be a really physical game too tomorrow. So um, I know we've prepared for them, and we'll be ready for them tomorrow. Dustin. Is Rob, what's in particular impressed you about uh, X in the time that you've been, you know, watching that you haven't been playing alongside him and you just got to observe what's impressed you about how he's sort of developed in that time? Um, I would say just the way he's been controlling the game and just being, being, uh, being on playing with his own pace and not, not being uh, sped up. I feel like sometimes in the past he was sped up and made plays that were, uh, I would say that was too quick in the, in the shot clock or, or just this place where he was trying to make a home run play. So I feel like coach has been a been really on him and on all the point guards really. But I feel like he's really the way he's been playing is the reason we've been winning. So I feel like he's going to continue that, and that's just going to lead us into the tournament. Okay, we'll finish up with Mike, Zach, and then Jeff. Mike. Yeah, Rob, I, I know it doesn't mean race is leaving or anything, but he is going to address the crowd tomorrow. So I, I did want to get your thoughts on him. You know, you've been with him a really long time. What, how have you seen him grow as a person, as a player, and, and what has he meant to this program? Oh, yeah, he's grown a lot. I feel like he's had one of the biggest improvements. Just him being injured in his first couple of years and not being able to showcase what how good he really was. And um, I feel like these last two years, he's really shown that. So, so yeah, he's really the glue to our team. He keeps everybody together. He's level-headed. Um, I mean, he's a leader. He's been here. This is his fifth year. So, he know, he's been through it all. And, um yeah, he's just a huge part of our team. Zach? I guess to follow up on that, this last year in particular, Coach Woodson's talked about challenging him to be more of a leader, more vocal, more consistent on and off the floor, all those different kinds of things. He has talked kind of openly about embracing that challenge as a, you know, a sort of classmate, somebody who's been with him, you know, just about every step of the way. I think he's been here maybe one year longer than you, but – um, what's been different about him this, this year, you know, did you, maybe these last 11 months kind of starting with when coach Woodson came in and, and, you know, started talking about guys he was going to push to be, you know, sort of centerpiece player, captains, leaders, that kind of thing. Um, I was just say the, the vocal part, I mean, he's more, uh, more of a lead type lead by example type of guy. So him being more vocal in practice and, um, I feel like that's the biggest thing that's changed with him. From a leadership standpoint. Okay, last question, Jeff. Obviously, you guys are right there in the tournament bubble. Um, I'm curious, and I asked a couple other guys um, a few games ago about this, but I'm curious your thoughts. Do you pay attention to it? Hey, here's where we are. Here's what they're saying. And what's it like as a player to sort of go through a bubble stretch where you know? You need to get some wins to get in. Any win, any loss might might knock you out. You know, people call it, you know, an acid time. But I'm curious, you know, a player's view, just what's it like? And do you pay attention to it at all? No, you def we definitely see it. I mean, it, I mean, we send things in the group message just to – just like a motivation type of thing to, that like, we have to lock in if we really want to make the tournaments for everything. So, yeah, for sure. But, um, I mean, we just have to take it uh, game by game at this point. So, Every game really matters, and um, we just have to focus in on the scout and just make sure we're locking in what coaches, the coaches tell us what to do.